Greetings and thanks for ending your Monday on 2K Sports with some NBA hoops. Alongside Grant Hill and Brent Berry, I'm Brian Anderson. Also with us tonight, our reporter, Allie LaForce. Hey, Allie. Thanks, Brian. Well, the arrival of Chris Paul to Phoenix turned this team into a contender. Coach Monty Williams said, quote, he's brought such a winning mentality. Off the court, on the court, lifting the level of our team. I don't have enough time to talk about everything that he has done. Brian? One of the all-time greats, Allie. No question about it. We've got two conference rivals squaring off tonight, Grant. I'm sure both teams have been eagerly looking forward to this one. Well, we always enjoy these rivalry matchups. I mean, facing a rival you've been battling in the rankings is always rewarding. And as a player, you get fired up and are ready to do whatever it takes to get the win. Here's the starting group for the San Antonio Spurs. And for the Suns... The deadly pair of Paul and Booker are the backcourt. DeAndre Ayton is out there with Kevin Durant. And it's Okogi in at the small forward position. Durant, pass to Ayton. And it's good for two. And KD keeping his head up that time, becoming a playmaker. Pass to Johnson. Right wing. Booker defending. It's hauled in by the Suns to the paint and Durant with the big finish that's impressive Kevin Durant just getting up and throwing it down here's Sohan out to the right wing the ball's knocked loose stolen by Booker in transition here come the Suns and Durant gets it to go well look I mean great anticipation on one end leads to points on the other the defense producing easy looks it just helps you conserve some energy for late in the game and now just over a minute played here in the first and he banks in the layup Durant's got six amazing ball handling ability allows Durant to gain separation from even the most locked down defenders and that streaking rack attack is the mobile one drive yeah, nice finish from him on that drive. Uses his body well and helps extend the lead. Now here's Johnson. There's the drive. Inside, looking to end the run. And Collins with the slam. Good job attacking the rim right there from the big man, Collins. I mean, there are some great guys in this league. Coach Greg Popovich sticks out. Just a tremendous person. I love competing against his teams. Paul against Jones. Puts up a three. No good. San Antonio goes the other way with it. First quarter, just about two minutes in. Goes up from the top of the key. And Aiden pulls it down. Coach Pop, the NBA all-time leader in wins. Any memories facing off with his Spurs? Well, I always knew that his teams would play hard. They'd be prepared. They played the right way. And, of course, they exemplified the toughness and character of their leader, Coach Pop. Knocked loose. Here's Okogi, and he drives in. Really taking charge of the game, largely with a detailed interior attack. Well, how good have they been on the inside tonight, just getting down into the painted area and just dominating, controlling that spot. A good look from Johnson. Cans it with nobody near him. He's a potent mix of effort and ability. Hard to shut down a player of his caliber. Paul for three. Hits the trifecta. So far, they're owning both ends of the floor. We'll see if they can keep this going. Like tonight, that all the hustle plays have meant so much to this team. Now just sustain some of that energy and keep comfortable. Well, these Suns have had a successful past couple of seasons. Yeah, B.A., I mean, they certainly know the greatness they're capable of. They can give you a lot of confidence out there on the floor, even against other elite teams. Zach Collins is aggressive and confident and waiting for his opportunity to show just how consistently good he can be in the NBA. And the Spurs making a change here. Bates Diop's checked in. Now here's Durant. Six points for him. The three ball. Another three for Phoenix. Boy, I like their energy coming in. <laughs> Terrific execution so far. Well, if there were four or five boxes to check in terms of the game plan tonight, they might have checked six. I mean, they're doing everything out there. 
Time called here. The Spurs decide to talk it over. And the move that really shook up the NBA world. I mean, Kevin Durant asking and receiving a trade out of Brooklyn. Now, with this team, he makes them a title favorite overnight. Haynes checked in for the Suns. Ross comes in for Okogie. And we're approaching about three and a half minutes played in this first quarter. For Phoenix, they've gone 8 of 10 shooting. Durant finds Ross. Fires the three. Drills it from deep. Don't want to let him get into a rhythm from out there. The Spurs have gone 2 for 5 here in the first. Pass to Bissell. McDermott inside. Guarded by Ross. McDermott can't get it to go. Phoenix has gone three for five from deep so far in this matchup. Two minutes remaining in the first. Two minutes. Outside Paul. And here's Durant. And the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket is good, and he'll go to the line. And he has gotten stronger. Durant's been able to do this with more regularity. Powers through for the bucket. Gets a chance to tack on another point at the free throw line. All right, let's take a look at the energy stats. How the hustle game has been going for the Suns. They've made an effort to get out and run. Using their speed and transition and scoring before the defense can get set. They've also done a great job of taking turnovers and producing out of that. Working really hard that they're not wasting extra chances that they're creating. Well, a missed box out and an easy tip in, but it's because of the activity as the ball is going up, finding yourself in the right spot, just using some effort. And here's Payne outside. Another three for Phoenix. They've really built this lead on the back of their perimeter game. Well, a lot of importance placed on outside shooting, and tonight you can see why after that kind of quarter exploding from the perimeter. Now here's Vassell. Now quiet so far offensively. Searching for his first point of the game. Five on the clock. To the middle. Stolen by Payne. Here we go. Paul with it. He's picked up by Vassell. Here's Durant. And another shot. And the layup is good. Durant's got 14 points for the game. And KD depositing that second chance bucket and most of that coming because of his length. Here's McDermott. That went off the back iron and out. Phoenix has gone four of six from deep to start this game. Paul passes to Durant. And the bucket counts. And he is on his way to the line. He'll try to make it a three-point play. Phoenix making some changes. Biombo, he's checked in for Paul. Craig comes in for Ross. And it's Lee in for Devin Booker. One of the purest scorers the game has ever seen. Durant continues to somehow get better each year. To end the run, Graham goes back up. Oh, denied by Durant. And he's able to get it back. Back to Graham. Instinct, timing, length. KD, great deep. A good look from Graham. Missed it, even after all of those chances. And so it's Phoenix of 25 big ones as we head into the next period. And they've been shooting the lights out from the arc. All those threes have this poise for a blowout. More NBA on 2K Sports right after this. Ladies and gentlemen, your son's youth dancing. Great to have you with us. Second quarter of basketball. This game has not exactly been neck and neck, but plenty of time left in this one. And guys, the Sun's pretty much in control here. Well, they've used the fast break well to score easy points and keep the defense unsettled. Yeah, they did a great job. Just the initial thrust of that attack as soon as they got the ball, constantly in transition. Torrey Craig out there with Bismack Biombo. Then it's DeAndre Ayton. 
Then there's Damian Lee, and it's Payne in at the one. That's who's out there for Phoenix. And Spurs coach Greg Popovich last season moving into first all-time for coaching wins, Greg. That's right, B.A. I mean, all those wins coming with one organization, the Spurs. Now, when he hangs up his whistle, he'll be in the conversation for the greatest coach in NBA history. Now here's Biombo. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Payne's got his second bucket on the night. Credit their discipline. They've been working for high percentage shots. Things just don't seem to be clicking for them offensively. Yeah, they really need to find a way to get back on track. Pass to Lee. Back to Payne. Here's Lee. Launches it. Here's Aiton. He's in his comfort zone. Two for two to start this one. Defense unable to stop DeAndre Ayton that time getting inside and using his frame. To the wing on the left. Here's Johnson. And it's good as he snugs it right through the net. Johnson's got his second bucket of the game. That's the kind of passing you want there. Work the ball around. Keep it moving. Try to get an assist on every bucket. That's nice vision there. You see that pass. You make the feed before the defense has a chance to react. And that opens up a, a much better opportunity to score. And that replay showed how sensational that drive truly was. With the lead they have, you might think they'd start to settle, but they are still going at the rim strong. Payne against Jones. Down low. Collins. And Zach Collins, Collins with the slam. Hurting the defense right now is Zach Collins in these pick and roll sets. To the inside, Biombo. And the layup is good after a nice lead pass. Biombo's got his first basket. Not getting old here. Seeing him make that lead pass with perfect timing. High arcing shot. Jones is shot Jones. is good. When the player gets a feel for that floater, you can really make things tough on defenders. You're just not sure how to guard him and where your point of commitment is. Phoenix calls timeout. And the league finally moving to curtail take fouls in transition. You like the change? Well, I think everybody's ready for that. The best part of NBA action, VA, as you know, is fast break basketball. So to get more three on twos or three on ones, lob plays and guys taking off and throwing down monster dunks, I'm up for it. And a new group getting ready for the Suns. Shamit, he's checked in for Aiton. Bakogi comes in for Biombo. Durant, he's checked in for Lee. And it's Paul in for Payne. And San Antonio with a change here, too. The Cells checked in. KD, one of those guys who will go down on the list of the greatest scores in NBA history. Right side, Johnson. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. Personal foul. And when you think of the time Johnson spent with the U.S. team, I mean, the coaches and players he was around, absolutely huge for this young player and his development. Johnson was part of that U.S. team that played in 2021. Yeah, what a great experience, Grant. Oh, B.A., I mean, I can speak in great detail how much you can gain playing for the U.S. team. Johnson continued to grow as a player after that summer and was a great addition to that team as well. And now about three minutes gone in the second quarter here. Outside Johnson. Back to Jones. Here's the floater. Phoenix grabs the miss. Here's Shamit. And that's good. His first bucket of the game. They've been the more poised team tonight, and the score reflects that. Yeah, just really pouring it on right now, trying to take away the opposition's motivation to keep competing in this one. Now here's Vassell. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. Pass to Sohan. Shot clock at six. On the wing, Vassell. The shot, no good. So Phoenix will take it the other way. Here's Durant. Oh, he is cooking right now. 10 for 11 from the field. Yeah, you're not going to see KD miss from Two that range in the first very half. often. Two minutes. Who poked away. Jones against Paul. 
Jones, the pass to Vassell. Here's Sohan, guarded by Durant. Count it. Sohan. Ooh, explosive crossover. How's that for a move? Phoenix has gone one of two from deep in the second quarter. And it's good. Fought through contact. Hit the shot and will go to the line. Phoenix making some changes. Ross comes in for Shaman. And it's Devin Booker in for Craig. And Kevin Durant post Achilles surgery. No apparent decline, Grant. Last season, the third highest scoring average of his career. I mean, incredible. Almost 30 points a game. Think about this. Two of the four times he's led the league in scoring, he did it averaging less points per game. And his efficiency, huh, good as ever. That's a good stroke by McDermott. Looking to find opportunities like that. He has limitless range. And he ends up missing both free throws. Man, such a heartbreak last year as the Phoenix Suns had the opportunity to return to the finals and it just felt like they were destined to get back there. That was their most wins in the season in franchise history. And it just didn't play out that way. <laughs> Great job on the back end of the play. Yep, finished with both hands, making sure of it. Graham goes in. Suns foul, Devin Booker, first personal foul, third team foul. At the line, and he makes a first, and the Suns making a change here. Aiden's checked in. Two. And he makes both free throws. Phoenix has gone five of eight from outside the three point line on this one. Paul lays it up and banks it in. Paul's got five. He's such a good scorer when he gets inside that painted area. One of the game's best mid-range players that we've ever seen. Chris Paul getting it done. Now here's McDermott. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. Devante Graham, Graham, that's good. Well orchestrated. And then the pass is right on the money. Ross against McDermott. Back to Paul. Outside Ross. Let's go with a three. Offensive rebound. And Aiton with the stuff. The big guy going up and trying to rip that rim off. For San Antonio, they've gone five of ten in the second quarter. McDermott left side. Graham against Paul. Pass to Bassey. On the wing, McDermott. Shoots over Ross. McDermott can't get it to go. Well, that's a shot they want just about on every possession if they can get it. He doesn't make them all, but still very much a high percentage look. Kevin Durant has been leading the charge for the Phoenix Suns. 27 on the night. He's had it his way. Well, now a minute to check in with Allie LaForce. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. Thanks. I'm here with Coach Popovich. And, Pop, I know you're not happy with the first half. They've taken the fight to you thus far. How do you take it back? Yeah, they've been the, the aggressive team. I think we played really soft so far. Really pathetic defensive performance. Coach, hopefully more toughness from your team in the second half. Thanks. Appreciate it, Allie. And we'll be coming right back after this break. Ready for the third quarter. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back to 2K Sports, everybody. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. Let's talk about that first half. A tremendous start for Kevin Durant. He had 27 points, three assists, and two blocks. Kenny, let's start with you. What do you think about the Suns? The difference in bench points is staggering. Their second unit came to play tonight. They were aggressive. You got to figure the starters are loving it, seeing how much work their second unit is getting done. Shaq, what did you see from San Antonio? They're not shooting it well so far. Actually, they've been terrible. Fellas, I got idea for Feed the post. Let the big man eat. Jeez. And that's a wrap. With the third quarter approaching, we now send you back to Kevin and the crew. That's right, Suns fans. 
And after a very lopsided first half, we'll see if things play out a little more evenly in the second. You know, Kevin Durant has really been making it happen here, guys. Oh, he's been their defensive anchor so far. Stifling shots left and right. Been aggressive to block shots, but also avoiding fouls. That's a, that's a heavy presence inside. And so in the game for the Spurs. Here's Collins. And good work on the exactly. boards as they picked up the second chance points. Collins has gotten his third basket of the night. Durant with the bucket. And just executing at a high level. I mean, taking what the defense allows and putting in the work. Basketball IQ is something that gets talked about, but it's importance to a team showing up here, running plays that turn into scores. Here's Sohan. The Suns getting their last shot to go. Knocks it loose. Collins outside. That shot missing. Booker with the defensive effort. Phoenix has gotten five of their nine attempts from deep to go. Outside Durant. Pass to Booker. Collins against Durant. Yes! And it's Booker with the setup. Durant's got four points in the quarter. And Durant thrives through the contact that time. Just taking the defender head on and finishing the play. Here's Sohan, and the officials will call the illegal screen here. You're not going to fool the officials too often on an illegal screen. Yeah, everybody saw that one. That was pretty blatant there. And that's how you defend. Glad we had a chance to see a replay of that block again. Oh, my, oh, my. And that was textbook defense, positioning himself well to send it back. They are blowing this one open. Maybe the only question is how big will this lead grow? I've gotten used to Devin Booker putting up huge numbers, so a 40-point game for him feels like another day at the office. Releases. And once again, off the mark by San Antonio. For Phoenix, they've got two of three from the floor in this third quarter. Okogi's shot is off. Aggressive mindset, but the defender just as determined to send him away empty-handed. To the wing, right side. Here's Sohan, and that one's long. Well, you talk about Booker's high-powered offense. He's a rare member of the 70-point club with only five other players in NBA history. Fred, you got Wilt, Kobe, David Thompson, Elgin Baylor, and David Robinson. Man, B.A., if you could sit down at a table to talk about your 70-point night, I'd like to be a server at that table. Here's Jones. Paul with some nice D. The Suns have gone three of five from the field in this third quarter. And that one's good by Durant. Durant's got 33. Anticipating the contact there and toughness through that play, Durant is not afraid to attack the defense. Trying to find a spark here. Yes, indeed. A rough stretch offensively. They could really use a basket. Pass to Sohan. With some arc. And he lays it in. Defensively, you can't afford to get stuck on the pick. That's one that the coaches will watch tomorrow with that player. You hate to see him give up in that situation. And trust me, when the D's slow to react, he'll be the first guy to make them pay. Well, I know they don't have mobile devices out there for texting, so they might as well talk to one another. Oh, a nice shot exactly. by Collins. Now Collins continues to play hard and determined to get inside to make it happen. Here's Durant. Yes. And it's Paul with the assist that time. Chris Paul. Paul's got three assists in the game. Love his shot selection. Good at taking quality shots. Whether he's defended or open, he knows how to knock those down. Here's Sohan. Tipped away. Jones with the ball. Now guarded by Booker. The rebound by Devin Booker. The D doesn't seem to be too worried about him from three-point range, and he shows us why still. I expect him to make one of those. Now here's Booker. Let's the three fly. Sohan with a rebound. He didn't make them pay for that weak defense, but they just can't rely on him to Two miss those kind of shots. And we've minutes. seen the Spurs part Malachi ways with some of their Ronald. best veterans. Three it really three speaks goal. to the talent at the top of the 2023 NBA draft. Savvy organizations like San Antonio will time their rebuild 
notes to the years when the draft holds some of those elite prospects. And the Spurs with possession here. Coming off a Suns make. In transition, here come the Suns. Rips down the breakaway slam. Chris Paul is going to find anybody that's leaning the wrong way, let alone leaving an open man. We've got 128 left in the third quarter of the game. Here's Sohan, guarded by Duran. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. And it's going to go on Devin Booker. And the Phoenix Suns have been a completely different team since acquiring Chris Paul. He's the leader of this team, and he helps set the tone on both ends. And he knocks down the first one. Boy, the city of Phoenix really embracing Chris Paul as soon as he arrived. Yeah, I mean, he's in the latter stages of his career now. But you would never know it based on how hard he plays every single night. He just makes everyone on this team so much better. Phoenix has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the third. Over to the wing. Back to Lee. Left side, Durant. Good work there as it goes. Durant's got 39. You're not going to get stops against him unless you give an effort. Out left to the wing. Graham, the pass to Collins. Here's Bates Diop. The three is up. And Craig pulls it down. There's 42 seconds left in the third. Durant inside. Bates Diop on him. Biombo. That's good. And so Durant with the assist. Durant's got his fourth assist with that last one. San Antonio's gone. Only one of three from deep here in the third. Outside Graham. Tries again. And Chris Paul clears it away. Durant on the attack. And Durant! With the big finish. They've been very well-rounded and extremely focused. Coaching staff probably most proud of the effort of this team on both ends of the floor here tonight. Kevin Durant has been leading the charge for the Suns. Over 40 points tonight and making it look easy. All right, we'll get back to the action after this break. And a moment now as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. You can count on him to deliver a few assists like this one each and every night. Sometimes it happens when the offense is struggling, but every now and then this helps with the offensive uptick right there. Great job of setting his teammate up. And as we head into the fourth, we'll see if there's a comeback in the works or if it's more of the same for the first three quarters. Chris Paul out there with Terrence Ross. Then it's Torrey Craig, then it's Bismack Biombo, and it's Lee in at the three. So that's the lineup on the floor for the Suns. And we just had to see that mobile one drive one more time. Great stuff. You're toasting the defense and getting in close. They'll take possessions like that one all day. Here's Wesley. The Suns getting their last shot to go. And that one drops. This player gets a feel for that floater. He can really make things tough on defenders. You just not sure how to guard him and where your point of commitment is. Here's a three from Paul. He buries it from three. Paul's got five points in the quarter. It's great when CP3 extends his range like this. It's just going to pull the defense out further. Back to Graham. Pass to McDermott. And there's the whistle. The illegal screen is the call. You can get away with one once in a while, but it looked like he wasn't completely set on that pick. Yeah, a quick little lean like that is going to get the ref's attention. Foul called. Payne's checked in for Chris Paul. Jang, he's checked in for San Antonio. Lankford comes in for Graham. Payne pass to Craig with his first shot attempt. Kept alive. And Biombo slams it home. A stronger defensive presence would have saved them two points. It didn't seem like anybody was really aware there to go and collect that rebound in the possession. Here's Wesley. To the paint. Here's Jang. 
Man, that's good. Gordon Off the Jang. glass that time. Jang's got his first points of the night. Payne, the pass to Craig. And close on the shot, even with the foul. Now two free throws. First personal foul. After a First tough decade foul. for the Suns between 2010 and 2020, they are once again a team to be reckoned with in the NBA. Oh, man, the cachet of talent that this roster has is tremendous. And this team really came together in a hurry. And they're going to be a force for the next few years to come. Here's Wesley. Here's Bassey. The shot won't fall. Oh, great D that time from Craig. Now here's Biombo. Guarded closely. He got a piece of it. Pass to Lee. Six to shoot. There's the three. San Antonio with a rebound. Here's Langford. McDermott from outside. It's rebounded by Biombo. Biombo's got four rebounds in the game. Here's Craig. Up and in on the layup. And Payne just playing eyes up basketball, seeing that opportunity. The Spurs have gotten half of their attempts to fall in the fourth. Two for four now. That's tipped. Out of bounds. Out of bounds. It'll be Phoenix's ball. ball. Phoenix making some changes. Basically, he's checked in for Craig. And it's TJ Warren in for Lee. TJ Warren. If you're just joining us, fourth quarter here. We're just over two and a half minutes into it. It's Warren on the wing, defended by McDermott. And it's Warren missing. Well, the Spurs shooting just around 32% from the field. Wide open. It's Wesley. good. Here's Wesley. Payne with it. Soft touch off the glass. Now, there's some easy offense there. Keep finding looks in that area, and their shooting percentages tonight are going to be off the charts. Pass to Bassey. A look at the clock. A little under three and a half minutes gone by in the fourth. Four on the clock. Here's Lankford. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. Shamit, he's checked in for Biombo. Four for your sons. Landry Shamit. For Phoenix, they've gotten five shots out of nine to go in this fourth. Here's Baisley. Bassey pulls it in. Hard to convert against that kind of defensive pressure. Those are all the little things about effort there. He just gets out there and contests, and that's just enough. Phoenix has gone one for three in the fourth quarter from range. Warren into the lane, uses the glass to finish the layup. Nice move towards the basket there. You gave T.J. Warren a little too much room. And he's going to want to score. They're searching for a way to score. Yeah, buckets have been very tough to come by. Pass to Baisley. The layup off target. Yeah, can't see why he missed that one there. The D's close, but like plenty of room. And it's Langford missing. Phoenix with the ball. They're on a 15-6 run. Two points. That one goes. Payne's got four points now in the quarter. And let's face it, this one was never really in question. They came out with purpose and just overwhelmed the opposition. A great win for the Suns. Pretty clear who the better team was today. They dominated in just about every phase of this game, Grant. <laughs> B.A., it's almost hard to think what didn't go well for them. Their plan, their execution, everything was absolutely on point. And what a huge performance it was for Kevin Durant. It was tough to cover all game long. One of those nights when he felt like nobody could stop him, and they didn't. Langford tried to come right back with a three of his own, but it's no good. Pass to Baisley. The shot misses. 
So the Spurs will take it the other way. The drive by McDermott. And you can count it. He'll go to the line with a chance at a three-point play. Shot's good. And McDermott is terrific at letting the defense open up. Once he sees the lane to the bucket, he jumps right in there. Biombo, he's checked in for the Suns. Graham's checked in for San Antonio. Here's Baisley. Takes the three. And the Suns get another three. You can feel the excitement in this arena. These guys have done one heck of a job. Yeah, huge motivation. Always great for a young team. But veteran players also appreciate when fans come with that kind of energy and get into the spirit of the game. Clock at six. Clocked! Given how long Baisley is, just not a good idea to get that ball anywhere near that length. Now here's Warren. So no problem for Phoenix as they get the win. We saw two different teams tonight. One played with confidence, operating flawlessly. The other just looked lost. And the energy in this building was awesome. The crowd was involved from the jump. Once they started to really pour it on, it was fun to see how it all came together. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Brent Berry, Ali LaForce, and Grant Hill, this is Brian Anderson thanking you for tuning in. So long, everyone.